Hey, I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Um, there's potential for this to go very, very wrong. <sighs> I am going to try and trim my hair. Uh, I really don't like how it's doing this sort of flat top angle thing. So I have a mirror right here. The angle, you know, I can't get the camera angle right when I'm using the mirror. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out just for camera angle and lighting, but God only knows how the results are going to be. So uh, let's just, I may have to shave my head again, but let's just dig into this. And I do have to wear my glasses because otherwise I will not be able to see what I'm doing. That would be really bad. Okay. Um, and you know, I am not a professional here. Don't follow my lead. Um, if I were you, I'd go to a professional. I just don't have the resources right now. And I really don't know what I'm doing. I just want to get some of this evened up a little bit and I can't even, oh, there goes the first little bit. Um, so, I have a mammogram coming up because of the edema issues. Um, they're going to do my mammogram a little bit early. Oh, this is hard. Um, hmm. Ooh, howdy. I guess it's so much easier when you're doing it on somebody else's head. Um, yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so I've got that coming up and I'll do an update. Hmm. As soon as I have that done and get the results. Um, I don't know that they'll find anything except fluid, but you know, it's then why? Why is there fluid? That's kind of the $20,000 question. <sighs> this is hard. Um, and now it's down my back. You know, I'm kind of trying to mimic what I see them do to my hair when I go have it done, but yeah, you got to be trained for this. <laughs> hmm. saw something over here. It's just kind of like poking out. Anyway, so, um, you know, it's like, yeah, I know there's fluid, I know there's swelling, but it's why, and that's what nobody seems to understand is, you know, why it's happening. And, um, everybody says, oh, this is so bizarre, so weird, I've never heard of this, and, you know, um, I'm sure it happens. I looked it up on the internet and it, there is precedence, you know, but there's nothing that says it happens because of this or because of that. Um, so it's just sort of one of those anomaly things, but still you want to know why, you know. Ugh. Yeah, this is really hard. I do not recommend doing this yourself. <laughs> um, Tucker is also having some problems right now. So, um, 
I took him to the vet for his back and his legs. He's having trouble moving his back legs, so he's having trouble walking. Um, he has degenerate, degenerative disc disease, which he's had, but he's been fine with it for the last several years. And so it's acting up again. So I took him to the vet, and while, ooh, this is tricky, while we were at the vet, um, it was discovered he also has some bad teeth that have to be pulled. So we're looking at quite a big vet bill coming up. The one for the exam wasn't so bad, but the one for the teeth extraction is going to be very high. Um, they're also going to do x-rays on his back while he's sedated. So that's, you know, additional costs. Um, but I've been really worried and stressed out over him, over, you know, the problem with my breast. Uh, you know, it's, I'm, work hasn't been real easy lately. Um, so I've just kind of been stressed out kind of all over the place. And um, I, this is not trying to get rid of this hump in the middle here. So that's what's going on kind of, you know, personal life regard, you know. I guess this is like a get ready with me video. I don't know. Um, never thought I'd be doing one of those. But, um, so I've got Tucker I'm worried about now and you know, that's like my main concern right now is Tucker and getting him back on his feet, literally, um, because he can't even go down the stairs to go out to go do his business. So, you know, he sits at the top of the stairs and he stares down at the driveway and you can tell he really wants to go out into the yard, but he can't. We have about 10 steps that he has to go down and he just cannot do them. And so this is, I've got like a little bald patch now. Yeah, don't do this on your own. <laughs> Get someone who knows what they're doing. Even if they don't know what they're doing, at least somebody can come in. You know, if you have somebody else that can do it, they can come in from a different angle. They can see what they're doing as opposed to trying to do it yourself. and not being able to see around to the back and sides of your head. I'm not even gonna try the back of my head. Um, I'm not sure I can do anything else. But um, I'm gonna do an update on his the dog food review that Tucker did uh, because there were some anomalies that we discovered and that had nothing to do with the food itself. Um, but, um, oh God, I think I just made it worse. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can get, oh, I've got hair too, loose hair. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, that doesn't look any better, does it? Uh, yeah, I don't think I did a thing. Um, now I'm just kind of trying to go get the longer pieces that are sticking out. I wish I had those scissors that did the, like the razor trim. You know, the uneven that they always trim your bangs with when they're done. I like those. Maybe I'll invest in a pair of those at some point. I've had these for years and years. And they were actually a really good investment. Just getting a good pair of hair scissors for trims like this. Um, 
this and I can kind of see God that's awful oh look I have bangs <sighs> you know I've I have not been without bangs since I was a kid I've I've always had bangs and it's so weird not to have them um, in fact, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I have a little bit of a sunburn right here. And I couldn't tell you when the last time I got sunburn on my forehead was. Um, when I did my property inspections the other day, uh, I've been so stressed over everything that I completely have been blowing my morning routine and forgetting to do half the stuff I would normally do by rote. And I forgot to put sunscreen on and so I came back from my property inspection and that night I noticed I had the sunburn across my forehead, the whole arm, the back of my neck, um, this side from driving was sunburn. So sunscreen is very important after you have, you know, your cancer diagnosis, especially, and then after the chemo and then the radiation is really important. You've got to maintain the sunscreen. So very, very important. And you know, I, I really regret. I've been trying to keep it lotion on it and um, do everything I can to keep it moisturized. And, but you know that it's dangerous once you've had the cancer diagnosis that sun, sun can be very bad. So just keep that in mind. Always wear the sunscreen, you know. Um, and we're finding that out more and more these days about the, you know, the dangers of the sun rays and not only to your skin, but like to your eyes, they're telling you to polarize sunglasses. And even if your makeup has SPF, it's not enough. And even if your car windshield has SPF, it's not enough. And so, you know, even though everything has some level of SPF, it's not enough. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I don't know that there's anything else I can really do here. Um, yeah, I'm... I think this is about it. This one... I like that. I have to vacuum now. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more even. Not much, but. I'm just trying to get those little tall ones again. Well, maybe if I angle my head differently. <laughs> I can just go walking around with my head angled all the time. And yeah, I'd be the one that would like cut my ear if I were doing this. Um, I don't know why I'm cutting down here because that's like, oh, that was dumb. I know, kind of seems, I want to say anathema, is that the right word? There goes the cloggy brain again. Um, but it seems opposite, you know, to what I'm trying to do here. I want to grow my hair, and here I am just trying to trim it and cut it. <sighs> when all I want is for it to grow. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to vacuum up all the loose hair now. <sighs> but that's today's little video. Um and an update and I will update you further after I have the mammogram in a few days and let you know what they say about the swelling in the boob and I will do an update on the dog food review and explain what happened there and um, 
I still have the skincare review to do, which I'm going to try and get done this weekend. And I have other ideas as well. But if there's anything that you have questions for or that you'd like to hear about, just leave a comment down below or shoot me an email. And then I can take care of it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications. Aloha. Bye-bye.